everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I am going to be mixing up some potting soil so that I can start potting up some more plants inside the house. Let's get started. I'm in my garage, and I'm about to get me some of this. Uh, it's a majestic earth peat moss. And using your peat moss as a beginning to your potting mix will save you money because you will not just be using the peat moss by itself. You will be mixing in some other ingredients. And the ingredients that I'm going to be mixing in are some perlite, vermiculite, and some worm casting. If you want to, you can go ahead and add your amendments, like your uh, slow-release fertilizer, your blood meal, things like that. But I'm just going to be adding the perlite, the microlite, and the water casting. And see, I barely put a dent in this uh, container. And so now I'm going to be adding in my perlite. And this is what it looks like. This is how much I have inside of my tote. And this is the perlite that I'm going to be using. And it is called Grow It Perlite. And it's super coarse. Just going to estimate and add in just one container of this. And remember, this is very dusty, so be careful. While I'm in the garage, I'm going to go ahead and show you all what my pepper plants are looking like. You know, I was overwintering them. I came out the other day and I plucked all the peppers off of them. I had them sitting close to the garage door. I should have brought them closer to the house. I think they would have done better, but this is what they are looking like. I am still not uh, giving up on them. I'm going to move them closer to the house and I'm going to uh, just work, you know, let those leaves fall off and then I'll try to save the rest of the plants. I think right now just the leaves are dead, but I was able to use the peppers that I had that were growing on there. I bought them in and I made a delicious potato salad with those peppers. Okay, and this is what the other trees are looking like. These are my citrus and they are looking really good. They are inside the garage and they were up uh, further inside the garage, not by the door. So I went ahead and brought the peppers closer to the house also so we can try to salvage what's left of them. And it has started to rain now, so this is what it's looking like on the homestead right now. My camellia plant still looks really good. It didn't uh, suffer any. And this is what the garden is looking like right now. So I'm still not walking over there. After this rain washes away some of that snow, I'll start back walking across it. Because right now, it looks like snow, but it's a solid sheet of ice. Okay, so I've got my perlite and my peat moss in this container. You want to mix them up. You can mix them up with your hand. You can mix them up with whatever you have. I'm going to use my spatula. You want to break up that peat. And just get it mixed all up in there. And you see some big chunks of the white perlite. You want to get that mixed in good. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom. It's gonna be easy to do this either with your, your hand or 
if you want to, you can put on some gloves and get it done. So next thing I'm gonna add is some of my vermiculite. And I said I was trying to do this four to one, so just gonna add about a container since I estimated I did, probably did four of these. It was just an estimate. You don't have to be exact. Okay, so in, in your potty mixes and in some of your fertilizers, well, in your fertilizers and your potty mixes, you're gonna have three numbers. And those three numbers are going to have a, a dash in between them. And this one has 0 0.8, 0 0.0, and 0, 0.0. And those three numbers are your N, P, and K, or your nitrogen, phosphorus, and your potassium. And if you have a problem remember the, remembering them, they are in alphabetical order. So you got your nitrogen, you have phosphorus because H comes before O and then you have your potassium. And so whenever you see those numbers, that is letting you know how much nitrogen is in the mix, how much phosphorus is in the mix, and how much potassium is in the mix. So I just wanted you all to remember that in case some of you do not know because uh, for a long time, I did not know, and I had not heard it explained. Although I'm sure that it was being explained, but I had not heard it. And so for a long time, I did not know about the N, P, and K. And it is important for you when you're gardening because you want to know how much of each one of those you are putting in your uh, on your plants because certain plants will need one or two, but might not need the other. So I just wanted to put that out there for anyone who do not know. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my, take my mix up because I do not want any of this. These are my earthworm casting. I don't want any of that to fall out. So I just wanted to put that out there. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna moisten my soil. It's just easier to moisten it up like this. Although the soil was a little moist, but I don't, uh, it's not moist enough for me. I'm gonna moisten it up just a little bit more before I put it into my water jug. You know, my washer is going and there are other people in the house, so you might hear some noises. Okay, so that is probably gonna be enough moisture for the soil. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna fill up my I wanna fill up my water jugs. So I'm going to go in there like this. One spill. Go ahead and get the other one feel. move this out of the way while I show you all what it is we're going to be filling these with. So the first thing that we're going to be filling it with are some red onions. Because you all know in previous video, I did sow some onion seeds in the winter sow method and I used one of my clear uh, containers. But this time we're going to be doing some red ones and we're going to do some white ones.
We're going to be using some of the seeds that we got from Johnny's. We're going to use a, do a hybrid red and a hybrid white. I'm going to go ahead and make some labels. So I'm going to go ahead and put my labels in my container. I already made, put my holes in the bottom of my jugs. My drainage holes are in. Okay, so Lord, so that you all can see. And now I am going to put in my seeds. And I'm going to do these seeds the same way I did with the hybrid yellow. These are the red. I'm going to throw them in pretty thick. I still got a lot of seeds in here, so I'll be able to plant using some, another method. I'm going to put some vermiculite on top. And my soil is already moistened. So I'm just going to pat it down so I can get a good contact. I'm going to go ahead and do my white. And as I told you, I will be placing these onions all throughout the garden. And y'all, first I want to pat this soil down some so my seeds won't just fall to the bottom. But that soil wasn't pet in enough. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to think I'm going to add all of these. It's not that many in here. And I love white onions too. I love all onions. And I want to have a lot of them in the garden. So y'all, I would be constantly planting onions. Same way I was last year, trying to get enough onions. And I constantly planted onions last year and I did not get enough onions. So I would definitely be constantly planting onions this season. I will be planting a lot of stuff. There is a lot of uh, planting going to have to go on, you all, because as I look out at my garden right now, it does not look good. Those plants look like they are mostly gone. So I may have some that I'll be able to just cut the tops off and the roots will be still okay. But it looks like we're going to be busy doing a lot of planting. And I'm okay with that because you all know, I love planting. I love planting. I love seeds. I love planting. I love growing. I was happy uh, as long as my plants were growing wonderfully, but now it's out of my hands. The snow has came and it may have wiped out a lot of my garden, but are we going to stop there? No, we are not. We are going to be constantly planting seeds and we're going to be putting, popping stuff back in. We're going to be getting ready for our new, our next growing season. So that is what you do. When something happens that is out of your control, you don't just uh, curl up in the fetal position and say, okay, that's it. You get busy planting and replacing your plants. That's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to get busy. We're going to replace these plants because I know a lot of you out there probably had a fall winter garden. Hopefully you were able to harvest most of it and that you have a freezer full of food that you are able to enjoy throughout these uh, next few months or while you're waiting for your um, plants to get back started. But I want to mention this because y'all, this is something that is very exciting to me. Um, I am not the person that does a lot of different uh, charts or uh, planners, but y'all, I uh, found one that it looks like this one might be something that I might be interested in. And it is called Seed Time. It is a app. And you can go and you can download it to your phone and uh, it will help you with your your uh, planting, with your uh, planning. And uh, it asks for your area. You tell it, you put your zip code in or allow it to 
uh, get your location and you can, um, it'll tell you how many more days you have for planting, how many more days you have before your, uh, your next, your last frost date. And even your <laughs> fall, it, it goes as far as to give you your next fall, uh, frost date. So you can, uh, plan by these things without all this calculating in your brain. Cause you know, if you're not that person that I want to be sitting there with the calculator, this is here to do a lot of the work for you. And you give it your, uh, square footage of your garden. It can help you plan. It can help you plan when to plant different plants. It has a whole, uh, uh, dictionary library of plants and the names of the plants and tells you about the plants and their companions. You all, if you are interested, go to Sea Time. And uh, I would like to have discussions on the um, channel about it. We can discuss, if you find out something that it is time to plan, and I have not mentioned it yet, you can come and tell all of us that it is time for us to plan and just put it in the comments and uh, just make uh, keep a conversation going about the things that you are learning in Seed Time because it is so much out there to learn. There are so many different uh, names of things. And as we're getting, we want to get more involved in our herbs, learning different herbs and getting um, our uh, medicinal herbs together. You know, we, we love the herbs that we just like to sprinkle on our food and season our food, but we want those herbs that are good to help us to get inflammation out of our bodies and things like that. So to help us to feel better on a day-to-day -day basis. So I urge you all to go to Seed Time and, and get that app on your phone and let's have a discussion in the comments about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to take these together. Okay, so I got that one taped up. And I also have found that those uh, other jugs, the other water jugs, they tape up way more easily than these. I put three pieces of tape on this one. But I think it's gonna hold. Okay, so let's see about this one. See if this one does it easier. But sometimes it just depends on how uh, your cut is, and y'all know that sometimes I cut this real wild, so we're gonna see if this one would do better. I'm gonna put it down in here like this, poke it down inside. Uh -oh, I didn't show you all how I poked it down inside. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna leave this, I'm not gonna hold it, I'm not gonna pull it off, rip it off away from it. I'm gonna put it down against the jug. Make sure all of it's down in there. Put it around here. Like this. Let's see if it's gonna hold. It look kind of funny, but it's it's uh it's holding on. It wouldn't hurt to put another piece on there, but I, I'm gonna just leave it like this because I won't waste up my tape. It's holding. Yep, I think that's gonna be okay. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, y'all got this plant. And y'all, I told y'all saw the other plant. Y'all saw y'all saw the plant. It, it ended up pretty good though, didn't it? Yeah, it ended up pretty pretty good. But this one, y'all, this plant looks fine. The problem with this plant is this plant is it's it's 
I haven't had it for a long time. And I told you all about this plant before. I'm thinking about it, y'all. I'm about to change my mind because I've had this plant for a long time and I'm afraid that I'm going to break this plant. Okay, but y'all going to help me with this plant because um, this plant has sentimental value to me. I do not want to break it. I'm going to need some room, though, because, y'all, this plant is huge. And... What I'm going to do, I left some of my onion seeds out. I have to go back in, put them in later because I've already put all that up. But Because I'm cleaning up my, my my work area now because I am, y'all, I'm still about to change my mind. I don't know. I mean, if you get to dust some of this soil off of here while I still think about this. But it has to be done. It really has to be done. I've been putting this off for a long time and it, it really, it needs to get done. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna need this soil because this is the soil that I'm gonna have to use. It's probably gonna take all of this for what I'm about to do. Okay, y'all, let's do it. Before I do that, I am going to mark the outside of these jugs with what they are so I, we will know. So this is the red onions. And we're gonna still put hybrid on there because I want to remember that these are hybrid. These are supposed to do some something, something special. They're supposed to go ahead and get busy with it. And these are the white hybrid. Okay, so I've got these marked. And I'm gonna put these beside the back door. Okay, I'm back with my plant. This is the plant that I was telling you all about that I have had for a very long time. And it does have a few dead leaves on it because these were turning uh, opposite direction. I did not see them. So I had not uh, taken time to pull them off. But for the most part, most, most of these leaves on here look pretty good. But that's not what we're worried about right now. Right now, I need to get this plant out of this container, out of this pot that is in, I'm going to lower the camera so you all can see the pot <clears throat> that this is in. And this pot has worked okay for this plant, but y'all, this plant is all tied up. It's staked up and it is tied up. And there are um, some ties on here that I've, I've taken and I've taken around again and again. And now it's time for these to come off. And I am going to uh, take a couple of more pots and I'm going to break this plant up and I'm going to put these different um, root sections in a different pot. I'm not going to try to hold on to this being just one plant anymore. I'm going to let this be more than one plant. Give you a, a view of what it is looking like. And so I'm not going to be stressing about it anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And it is, I mean, this plant is, has gone through a lot. I don't know what some of these people look like they done done, but they've been trying their best to continue to grow in this condition. And Cause this plant really didn't want to get separated either. I can tell this plant does not want to get broken up. So that makes it even harder for me to break this plant up because this plant has tried to mend itself and to grow together. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break it up because I think that once it is broken apart, that it'll be more happy. It'll be able to grow. And so what I'm just going to start just doing is taking parts of it apart that I see are already have disconnected themselves from the plant. I'm going to do those small pieces first instead of going about it at, you know, taking the big pieces. And so what I need to do is find some pots. So this here pot is going to be too big for this piece right here. This is too large of a pot for that piece. So I'm going to need to find a smaller pot for that. And I could possibly use the pot that I had before. So, oh, I have some pots right here. 
these pots that I got from the Dollar Tree. This would be perfect for this. And you all, I bought them of these saucers from the Dollar Tree. That would fit perfectly right there. But I already had some saucers. I just was not uh, sure where they were. So these are some saucers that I already had. And I'm not really worried about my sauces mixing but what i do like is that to have a saucer that is able to hold up to whatever but i don't know that's this may not need this it, this could possibly be okay and then it you know the clear will match with anything so i may just say this because i think i have some pots that go with these so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one of these underneath I'm going to go ahead and add some soil. <clears throat> Hopefully, I get a chance to get all this done. It depends on how long this takes. If this takes a long time, then I may have to do some of it and do some of it later. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some soil in here so we can get this ready. Get our area ready. Get our pot ready for... I think it would work better if I just hold my pot over my soil container over here. And I won't have to make such a big mess. Okay, so now I have some soil right here in my pot. So now I'm just going to push it down some. Will make me a well in here because what I'm feeling like is going to happen with this is when I pull this out I'm not going to get much of the soil I'm going to mostly get the root so I bought me a, a knife in here to help me I'm just going to go down in here and try to cut around Okay, so y'all see that I did. <clears throat> I got some of the roots. I'm just going to take them. And they fell off. Most of them fell off, but I still have, I still have a root. <clears throat> Let's see how. Yeah, that's still a nice root. So it probably would be better for me to go ahead and just take this root and sit it in some water and let it get some good roots. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sit it in the soil. And I'm going to keep an eye on it. If it, I'll keep it watered good. I'm going to keep an eye on it. If it seems to start showing any signs of stress, I will take it out and put some water on it and just let it grow some roots. Okay, so we're going to try to hold, uh, get more roots on the next piece. Okay, so that's one piece. We have a new plant. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to water it. There is some plant food in this container. Y'all think I should have went ahead and Put it in some water first. Y'all let me know. It's not too late to go ahead and put in some water. But y'all let me know what y'all think. All right. So now. I got another one over here. Turn it around so you all can see. I have to be careful while I'm turning around though. 
Okay, this one's small. The boots probably gonna be small too. These pots holding on for dear life. They don't want to come apart either. We're gonna go ahead and gonna get up some soil. I might have to stop because I don't have enough soil. I might have to go back out and make some more soil up before I can continue. We're going to keep going for now. I'm going to mash this down. Got us a new saucer. All right, we'll go ahead and make my well in here. All right, we're going to try to get this baby out. That's what they are. They're babies. They look like what you would call pups. I don't know if they call them pups on all plants. They do on banana plants. So, we're going to... Feel like I got some roots out. Maybe I should grab a hold of it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna hold it on to it, didn't do any good. Let's see. Let's see, do we have any? That's not a root. Okay, so we're definitely On this one, we're definitely going to have to go straight to the water because we don't have any roots. Pull zero roots out on that one. So I have a bottle of water right here. So I'm just going to stick this one down in this bottle of water for right now. While we go for another piece. Now, this is not working out that well. But I do still have most of my largest part of my plant intact. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart because I don't see any more of those little pieces. So we're fixing to have to start. Uh, yeah, I do. I see a piece, y'all. I see one more piece that we can, we can try with this one more little piece over here. This one more little baby. And it looks like it's bigger than those others. So maybe we'll have a, a better look with this one. Y'all see this one? Can y'all see this one? Let me just pop out of the way. Can y'all see this one right here? Now it's a lot going on in front of it and it's gonna be hard to get in here to extract it out. So I don't know if I wanna try to extract it without I'm gonna put my finger down here and see it. Oh my goodness, this this is hooked on to. Let me see. Maybe that's not it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I know I don't want to pull this. I I do want to pull it, but I know I don't need to pull it. So I'm not going to pull it. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to extract that one out like that. We're gonna have to remove some of these other plants first. So I'm gonna take my scissors instead of trying to unwind all of this. We cut this and start taking some of these pieces. Hopefully my plant won't fall over while I'm doing it. Okay, now here is a piece right here. This is another small piece. So let's see. I think that all of these are connected. Y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm thinking now what I need to do to this plant is to take this plant and lay it down, like put it outside. It would need to go outside on, on a nice day because it can't go outside now because it would die. This is a tropical plant and 
If it goes outside, it will definitely die. Cause it is, it's probably, it's, we probably got 30s right now. The temperatures are going up. But since I started it, and I have been wanting to start this for a long time, it has been a year I know that I have been talking about doing this. So since I've got this started, I'm gonna move some of the soil from around the root of this plant and see if I can, okay, like this piece. If I could actually take a piece of this off, this piece right here, but I'm not sure that this is the piece. If I laid it down on the ground or on the floor, if I had a tarp and I laid it down on the floor, then I could remove the soil and I could see, uh-oh. See this piece is leaning. Can y'all see this piece is leaning over? I can see the uh, the roots, and I can see which pieces I would be able to just easily take apart and still have some roots on it. But this big piece right here is the one who is having a problem. So since this big piece is having a problem, and y'all, this neither of these pots that I have ready would be able to hold this piece. Let me show y'all this piece. This is the piece that is really wanting to do something different. It's wanting to disconnect from the rest of these because it's falling over. So I'm gonna see it if I pull it. Get all this tape out. And I think I did take a piece of this plant out once before. It's just a piece. And I think it's growing over there. It's still, it may have been another plant, but I'm not sure. But I do. Okay, I dug deep in there. I was able to get a piece out that had some roots on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it inside this well that I made. I'm trying very hard not to injure those roots, get those roots pushed back in there. I probably even have to stake this up. And I do have a stake that I can put in here. So, so far, we were able to get two more plants off of this plant. Place some more soil inside the container. Go ahead and give it some water. And this water has some fertilizer in it.
Okay, so I said we have two, but really we got three because I put one in some water over here. So I have to get those pieces off. To be honest with y'all, I'm really kind of scared to continue on this plant until I am ready to take this plant out of this entire plant, out of this pot, lay it on the ground or on the floor. And I'm not prepared to do that right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I got some more plants out here. I got three plants. Y'all saw this one and this one. That was not my goal. It wasn't really, I wasn't worried about getting a whole lot of plants off of this plant. And I got this one. My goal was to kind of relieve this plant of some of the stress that it has been under being all in this pot. These are standing up fine. It's just two that really seem like they're kind of stressed. So I'm gonna remove some of these uh, leaves off that are no longer alive. And I am going to put, yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't even see it. I'm going to put the tape that I pulled off before I break this because it's, it's, it's having a problem right now. It's going through something right now. I could use a zip tie. If there's one hand that we don't. Y'all do not forget zip ties are your friends. So I'm gonna take this zip tie and I am going to take these two long plants, these two long, what are these? I ended up with three. I got number three. Oh, okay. That one. That one's fine. Put them back. This one. I, I need to take these two. I don't want to be too much for this little zip tie. I'm gonna take these two. Okay, and I'm gonna take these two, and I'm gonna zip tie them together, and that's just gonna hold it up until I am ready to put this plant on the floor on a tarp. So that one is standing up. And what I'm gonna do in the meantime, I'm gonna put some more soil in here. It needs some more soil. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stake back in there also. See if that will help. I did have a stake in there. And now some potting soil. Okay, so I'm gonna get Caleb to help me move this plant back to where it was because this plant is very heavy. This pot is heavy. And it'll be even more heavy if I water it in right now. So I'm gonna get Caleb to help me move it back and then I'm gonna water it when it gets back to its home. Okay, so I got the stake in this plant really good. I've got it 
uh, standing upright. It looks pretty good now, y'all, since I got some of those other plants out of the way and just kind of uh, doctored on it a little bit. So it might stay like this for another year. But what I decided I was going to do is to remove this other plant from the bottle because it is not going to be able to stay in this bottle because once it makes some roots, then the bottle is going to be too small when I get ready to pull it out. So what I'm going to do is just remove it from the bottle and sit it in a... I got a little small jar here. So now it will be in this jar where it can go ahead and grow its roots. Okay, so it looks pretty good sitting back in his home. I think I'm going to leave it like that. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video today and that you will give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. And go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.